Barab! Hello, Hayston. Hello, Armenia. And hello to our double hot extra shot ice grande venti whipped cream Starbucks. I mean, fair book. Yes, we still love that meme. LOL. In any case, her song Walking Out is now out. Hype's been building about the half a goddess singer, and I think it's time to react. Should we do this? <laughs> Let's do this! Alright, I've not heard this yet. I've not seen the video even. Hitting. So but there's been like. so much react. I haven't seen it as well because I knew we were going to react to this. Oh. But there's been so much social Reaction. media commentary. Yeah. Alright. Boom. Oh, wow. Industrial. Oh, wow. Black and white realness. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk baby. Walk. Oh, it's a room full of dudes. Oh! Funky. Oh, yeah. She's been edged out. Monochrome realness. They gave her Artsvik's hair. Those are her Work, brains. Works for her, though. Gosh, this is dark. Girl has sass. Ooh. I'm... Oh yeah. What? It's mysterious in a way. Oh, powerful woman. I'm getting the bionic Christina Aguilera album track kind of feeling. This is interesting. I can't stop watching. I think the visuals are quite good. So Brooke can sing though, can't she? I mean like... Yeah. The verses have a sing-song quality. But no clear hook. Not yet, but there's just so much going on. I'm struggling to focus, to be honest. In a sea of men, she stands out as the only goddess. I do like how in the chorus her voice elevates above everything. There's an ethereal rock quality there. Mm. Oh, did you hear that? You're I was no your... longer a king because I was your crown. Ah, I'm walking out. Nice. She's done with all the drama. She can't go to the airport with all that metal. Okay. Oh. A dip? Wow. This is an interesting bridge. That's one way of putting it. Showing off that vocal capability. Okay, there was a reason she dipped, right? <laughs> this is her star search moment. Armenian Idol. Yes. She's bringing it home. They're making you wait for it. This has a moment. This has a moment. No immediacy though. Don't, wow. de don't dethrone yourself, wow. woman. Oh, she's Listen. giving up. Okay, so I didn't know what to expect. After Half a Goddess, I think I expected something very different to that. There's a lot going on, and at times it's very loud. It's very loud. Girl's got pipes. She's got pipes. She's got confidence. I think that live, if she can match the vocal quality that we're hearing here, people will be very, very impressed. I think this could be hard to sing. Like, you really got to cut belt above all that production, all that rocky edge. Um, she can do it though. I, I think she can do it. I, I feel like this has a lot of thrust, has drive, has energy. There's a lot of sass. There's mm. a lot of movement, and there's a lot of, even though it's in black and white, it's still a real visual spectacle. I like the pop red lips, which pop out of that black and white. I think Sir Brooke is really a talented star. But there are a few drawbacks. This song has no immediacy, there's no obvious hook. It, I know she's singing, but like, and I recognise she can sing, but a part of me kind of wished that, mm, you know what, why don't you sing this instead? 
i.e. another song. Because this, you know, you kind of still want the whole of Europe to sing along with you. And three minutes in, you want people to remember that. And I'm very good at remembering songs. So yeah, I can decipher walking up, but it's just a line. My fear is that some people will think it's messy because there's so much going on. To your point, you're, you're, you were struggling to kind of identify, I guess, the hook. And other people in our comment section have said that it's messy. I think that this will rely heavily on visuals. Oh yeah. And judging by this, it's got a very international, contemporary, yeah. artistic feel. And sound even. Like, if I didn't know this was so broke, I could have thought, oh, is it Christina Aguilera? But clearly yeah. not a lead cut. And definitely not a single. I think the enunciation is excellent. Excellent. I think she's beautiful. She's clearly got a bit of a diva in her. She can work her angles, work the camera. That's, that's a plus. Huge selling point. So I, I want to go back to Artsvik, actually. That song was maybe so-so, but then the staging, they threw the sink at it, and it was fantastic. I fell in love with that on the stage, I, the, yeah. but with this, they're already throwing the sink at it, like at this preliminary stage, so I can only imagine what it'll be like in Tel Aviv, like a 3D lit rock concert. I guess the point is, the ultimate point is this, we know she's very, very good, yes. and I think that she can work with what she has in a live performance. The visuals are already getting there. That was a very interesting concept. Her battling the men, the crown, her pushing through. She still stands out in that sea oh, of men. Oh, completely. That is, that's a testament to her ability to perform. So the song will elevate live. There's no doubt. And agility whilst belting. I think that's not an easy quality to have. And clearly she does that. When yeah. we saw that in Half a Goddess and we see that replicated here. She yeah. can sing and and move at the same time, at peak level. Yeah, the bridge, I think, is really excellent, because from oh, all yeah. that sound, I, it drops. I didn't that. get it at first. Oh, yeah. And then when you, yeah, I got, I think. Because <laughs> she's like real loud throughout, then she goes whoosh, and then girl takes it up. Mm. And it's very, it's a moment, and you need, in all these songs at Eurovision, you need a moment. Like, there are many songs this year that are very good, but they don't necessarily have a moment. Like, for instance, Ireland, Denmark, these songs are sweet, but there's not, like, it's that just, moment. It's just three minutes of platitude, isn't it? Yeah, whereas this, this is not platitude. No. You may not always like it, it's different, though. It has a perspective, and I really respect it. I think there's artistry here beneath all the pop. And lyrical depth, you yeah. know, I mean, you know, walking out. I mean, she did say at some point that <clears throat> don't kill love, but don't let love kill you too. Oh, don't I know that. Don't I know that. You ain't the king, because I took back my crown. Okay? And I am walking out. She does not stay put. Sir Book is on the move. <laughs> In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you loving Sarah Book's walking out? Are you walking with her? Who has the crown? Let us know here on Movie Blogs. Before we end this, I was going to ask you, what's the reaction being from Yerevan? Because you've got lots of contact there. You know, people love Sarah Book. The Armenians who I've spoken to on Instagram really love their Queen Sarah Book. I keep getting messages about Queen Sarah Book. It's so sweet. She will be supported. Armenians get behind their act. They're among the most loving and devoted fans out there so she's gonna she's gonna be feeling the love I'm sure <laughs> and she is also on Instagram as we are we're also on Facebook Twitter and yeah, those YouTube are the, yeah, well, if they're watching this I hope they know we're on YouTube in any case we'll see you later bye